guys, welcome to the fucking <laughs> spoiler section for Rebel Moon Part 2 Scar Giver, who gives a scar in the film just to make sure you know she's the Scar Giver. Because she, you remember? You remember, you dumbass fucking viewers? She gives <laughs> no, people scars. I'm trying scars. to forget everything. Uh, all right, so we begin with a narrative recap from Anthony Hopkins because you have Anthony Hopkins and you're goddamn going to use Against his voice. Against his will. Right? Against his <laughs> yeah, will. Yeah, you have his family under gun. I was like, did you have to pay him more for this beginning? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if I was he Anthony, I'd recap. get all the money I can out of this shit. So he recaps the first one with some visuals and space. We got just as much character development from his 30-second recap as we did the entire first movie yep yep that's what i was looking forward to most and i wanted to talk about that in the review i was looking forward to most where did he go he went into the forest and what is he hunting deer and he fucking made met a tribal thing or what what is happening here it's gonna be amazing and he's gonna don't show up with a force know. of robots remember <laughs> the robots across the galaxy they don't fucking fight for nobody no more and but then he has something to fight for so he'll convince them to fight for him and to fight for these guys none of that shit happens he just looks around he looks at the, the town building up stuff, doesn't help anybody, and then at the last minute decides to uh, drop from the sky with a superhero pose because Zack Snyder only knows how to make you know shots yeah. that he's seen in comics he's read before, and then blow up a tank. And it's hilarious because one shot has him land, and there's about fucking 30 soldiers with their guns trained on him. All they have to do is pull the trigger, and the robot is hit. But then the next scene... It, it's he's close to one of the soldiers. Nobody has their guns up anymore. They're all in wild, weird, different situations instead of the half circle moon where he's tactically fucked. And then he beats up everybody. He kills everybody. But and I was like, like the only like way he gets out of this if he goes <laughs> and uses like some kind of super fast robot mode. But he doesn't do that. He goes real slow and he gets hit a bunch because yeah. he's like fully shielded. And I'm like, God damn, if the robots are this fucking powerful, they needed to bring these to fucking attack the village. Let's make our armor out of the robots. Make armor out of the robots, exactly. And then he goes to the tank. I thought he was just going to destroy the tank, but he rips up the fucking... And this was clever. And this is what I'm saying. There's some good action scenes here. Like, I disagree with the boys. I think there's some good action. He goes into the tank and he Would fucking kills again? everybody. Yeah, the for, okay. for, for like, I don't know, 10 minutes here and 5 minutes here, sure. And but then, the problem is the context of that action scene. He shows up to the main character before the final fight. He's never talked to anybody in the village that we know of. And he's like, you're all going to fucking die. And then he leaves. Yeah. He doesn't promise the help. He doesn't give him any. He just says, oh, you're all going to fucking die. And then takes off. And then out of nowhere with no, he's not looking at the fight. He just shows up out of it's nowhere. It's so stupid because it, the, 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 the fucking director telegraphs two character deaths here. Yeah. And they're the wrong characters. If it was the fucking girl that he had the connection with, that they talked at the fucking river, the yeah. fucking creek, and she looks like the princess to him, that would have made sense. Yes. But no, it's Millie Vanilli. That, that's what we call the chick who's screaming, and she always screams ah, 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 to the top of her head, fucking dollar store Furiosa and um, Taroff, Tarak, Tarak, right? Tarzan. And then they're like, hey. I didn't. I realized just now I don't want to die. I'm like, you fucking kidding. He's just ruined your character. He's a coward. He's like crying. And then he's like, but if I am, I'm going to, let's do it. And she's like, together. And then they jump up. I'm like, Out of why? Cover. You have Out cover. Out of cover. It's the first time had cover, yeah. After they blow up tanks and they blow up, fuck, and she shoots a tank at goddamn one me, one. Five feet away, she shoots a tank with a rocket launcher. I would do that. So I don't want to miss. I don't want to miss. Yeah, well, you would bl <laughs> blown to pieces, Joe. Anyway, she doesn't get blown to pieces. She lives. And then they see another battalion of troops and another fucking tank walking, and they're like, together. And they literally get up, and they fire. And every single, he animated every single laser blast missing them. I'm like, okay. She didn't even show up to the very first fight. So Millie was missing the, for the very first. We so were three. So angry. We counted three there's for like the first fight. Three mini yeah. fights. So there's no, like, she just doesn't show up. She's like hiding in a barn that has visibility of where all of the bad guys are. And only when the second wave shows up, does she like it's stick her head up. <laughs> and it's like, where With the a really badass gun. And it's like, but where the fuck Where have you been? You? you just did this story where it's like, I will fight to protect this village. I'll give my life for this village. And then you're missing through a whole battle scene. The We're thing, like, yeah. fuck Millie and her stupid fucking face. I fucking hated the way this was sit, like f fucking shot. Because like during the first wave, everything's going on. Everyone's fighting. 
I was like, Alex is like, where are the three that were missing? Titus, Torok, and Millie. Yeah. They were just there. Then, like, everything's kind of dying down. Then we go back to the scene with fucking Titus in the barn. He's like, come on, guys. He's rallying the troops. Then they run out then and they go attack. Then they through the barn. After then, half the battle is done, Yes. Though. And then after that scene, they go to Turok in his barn. And then and he, does a he does thing. a rally That's thing. The... And I was like, like, Zach, what the fuck, man? <laughs> And I was expecting the Millie one. you have no fucking ad- editors or script doctors? It's like, uh, you realize you're doing the same scene twice, right? I mean, is that okay? With You want to do that? Hated it. Dude. I hated it, too. And it was dumb. It made, made these characters like, your tactics are fucking stupid. And you're getting people killed. And it doesn't even I look cool. I want you to die. It doesn't. <laughs> I wish it looked cool, because then it's like, oh, well, it was a really cool I think shot. So, I think some shots look cool. I will disagree with you all. Some, some bits and pieces. Well, what I think some what, what, cool. what shots fine. did you like, in particular, that he didn't directly <clears throat> steal from a better piece of media? None! He stole everything! <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm not denying that. But it's still cool. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I just don't like, want to give him credit for any of no, it. So no, it's no. like, that's it's like, yes, yeah, some of the writing elements are like, oh, that's kind of interesting how there's this cr- crazy Imperium and they've got all these things. It's like, yeah, I'm not giving him any credit for that because it's not his. Yeah, and then the soldiers come out with the flags, with the yeah. fucking Imperial Guard. Anyways, so, all right. <laughs> we got sidetracked. No, we're still no, talking about the battle. I like, I like this, but it's easier for me to go in order. But, yeah, no, this was great. Uh, it's just like well, we were, were still talking about the battle. So. Like, this yeah. is kind of like, it happens all in the battle. Fuck. Yeah, there's a battle. Like, Joe, you're, you don't know what I'm saying, though. There's other aspects of the movie that we skipped past to get to the battle because there was oh, a lot okay. of shit. I thought it's we were important. Yeah. There's 50 minutes of bullshit before we okay. get to the battle. The battle, to me, harvesting. was the payoff oh. for, uh. for having to do that. The harvesting? Right. So you don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know how bad the damage was to the previous villain. So he's laying on the thing. He's got fucking crust all over his body. He's in a chrysalis. He's in a chrysalis. Which looks disgusting, like a spider web uh, come, and it but was it gave gross. him super strength, Joe. Yeah, uh, this is one thing that we were like, did he have super strength in the first film? Because he's he's like, and a I was superhero like, no, because he was fighting Korra and Korra, and they, it, he wasn't killing Korra. But I guess he just has super strength here. But then his super strength kind of disappears through half the film. They gave him some juices. Red juices, green juices. Yeah, there was a lot of blue juices. juices. There yeah. was a lot of tubes he, coming he out of the He straight up murdered that farmer guy where he's like lifting him with one hand and like throwing him all over the place. So like he's, yeah. Yeah. he's Inconsistent super. powers, basically. So then our heroes show up to the village on horseback and whatever. That's, oh, that's oh the, the fucking heroes, six yeah. people we don't give a shit about. Yeah. Uh, and they're tired, hungry, and thirsty. And they're like, you must be tired from your journey i'm like stop stop don't, trying to do the fucking the joke the it, western don't paint over the joke you guys must be tired and hungry and then titus looks at the camera and winks and thirsty <laughs> and then like they play it for like some fucking laugh it's like what and is this Okay. A uh, soldier left behind receives updates that in five days they will arrive for the harvest and i'm like Oh, my God. So that you just confirmed the stupidity from the first film. We thought that, okay, maybe there has to be something different here. They can't literally be still wanting this fucking harvest. And if they did, they would have left more than five fucking dudes, right? If this is going to be the thing that whether they live or die, they don't leave five privates. (laughs) Oh, it gets worse, Joe. (laughs) Because if we just saw him destroy an entire fucking planet and raise... The, the fucking that CGI alien guy there. that has more food than a few bundles of fucking hay. Uh, I'm sorry, grain. wheat. Grain. Grain. No. No, Joe. Where's the mill? They have to first take the fucking wheat, go to the windmill. I played Manor Lords, okay? Mm. You gotta go to the windmill, then you get the grain, then you take the grain, you go to the oven, then you put the grain in the oven. Anyway. <laughs> so, they're, no. They want that fucking harvest. They need it. And it's so hilarious because they're like, let's go get the uh, harvest. And then the shot Five when they – It is an impressive shot of a an impressive expedition, a, a invasion force. And I'm like, I'm think, I can't stop thinking how much fucking fuel and gas and resources they're wasting for a bunch of fucking hay. It's hilarious. Okay. But the admiral is uh, – they say, oh, the admiral's dead. We killed him. And everybody – the town's like, Really? Yeah, everybody's woo. They're relieved and happy, but the one soldier 
bursts in the one good guy soldier that didn't want the he had a crush on the on the young blonde chick in the village it's like they're coming they're coming in five days and apparently i guess i was i was like at first how do they know why don't they know that that guy's a you know that their forces are dead but I guess they never checked. They never in. checked in. And they, 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 but they know that the scar giver is still out there. But they don't know <laughs> that the scar giver is going to go back to the location that the scar giver was originally at. Whatever. So uh, then they were like, "Okay, we will need to harvest in three days. We only have three days now." And then and fucking tight. Go ahead. Okay, I want y'all to so, talk as much as I okay, talk. Just no, interrupt me. Okay. So the I need another beer. Alex, they were saying, cool the farmer was saying, okay, well, how long is it going to take? They're coming in five days. He said three cycles. I, I assume three cycles would be a no, lot. No, they said three days. No, no, no. He's talking to the farmer. Okay. He's like, he said uh, a couple, three cycles. Yeah, yeah, I three would assume cycles. it would be like yeah. a like couple months, no maybe a year. I don't know. Who cares? But he's like, okay, well, it doesn't matter. We got to do it in three days. The farmer's like, that's not how cycles work. We got... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Just like nine months. And the guy's like, we got to do it in three days. He's like, okay. <laughs> the harvest is ready, <laughs> sir. So we give him, he, like, brings we him, he brings him fucking seeds. He's like, what the fuck is this? So you Why did you bring me seeds? Days. I you, said it needed three cycles. <laughs> well, because you said to harvest it in three days. That's what it is. It seeds in three days, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> just because you give a rousing speech doesn't make the shit grow any faster. Exactly. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay the whole movie is based upon the premise that this grain is of utmost importance yes and so they line the town with it and they're because otherwise it's just like why would they not just like you know bleach you from orbit right yeah yep. and like they're like oh no if we hide behind these uh these bags of grain will be safe that was clever they put it all over the huts and shit and i, I was like because i was like nothing. how or why aren't they that was a question i had from the first film well, and they solved it yeah except for at the very end of the movie where he's like oh we'll just nuke him for more because the, so the grain yeah, doesn't yeah. actually matter we'll just go straight home it's like you have enough money to get you have enough grain just to get home and well, the reason why that was alex is because he's like all of our troops did the invasion Fuck all of our troops. Some Fire of, at our troops and their troops. We'll hit some of theirs as well. You know, and because there's no mouths to feed, we'll use whatever food we have left. We'll go back to the Imperium and we'll be heroes. It was so stupid. Anyways, the thing has really poor pacing at the beginning. Yes. They're jamming all this shit really quick. And granted, oh, but Joe, it's part two, so it's not really a movie. It's like, this is a, it's a movie. It's if a you're movie. trying it's to trash. watch it on its own, it does not function. You have to watch it part one and part two. Otherwise, huh. it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Don't the poor don't. pacing is really bad. Anyways, and then Alex is literally, we're watching a scene, and Alex, I, I shit you not, he said all of the lines <laughs> yes. that Gunner was saying, and Alex had not seen it before. I, I us. Refuse, no, uh, I doubt he, must, he would. He must have got three There's lines, no three way or he four would've. lines in a row, <laughs> and he goes, "It was you, losing you." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and I, and I obviously I was like, "That's what he's gonna say," and we all yeah. knew it. It's that just shows you it's, how it, it's so generic, basic, how generic, how predictable the shit is, and none of these scenes where we're supposed to be like, "Oh, look at the couple they really love each other." None of it was working. Mm. Now, next, next flashback was I need another this, beer. Uh, I'm this gonna is, get a fucking beer. If I leave this room, I'm not coming back. <laughs> I, go ahead. I will, I will just like go home. <laughs> okay, next scene is probably where I gave it a point. Uh, she's doing a flashback. She's like sleeping with Gunner. She's like, oh, I need to tell you my assassination story. <laughs> yeah. I was the one who killed the queen and betrayed him. Yeah, so they start walking in the room. Yeah, go ahead. So the king and queen are walking with the princess. And then in the background, I just noticed the background. Like yeah. everyone has like little bags over their heads, but they're like playing. The orchestra is playing. <laughs> There's a string quartet. <laughs> <That's> playing. Yeah, <laughs> they're just playing. They, I guess they don't. They can't yeah. see through it. They apparently, I don't know. But they're it's playing. And then like bag. the king's like. What's going on? This seems like a betrayal. And then the band's like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, is the, is, is the play, are they yes. playing? Yes, Joe. Are they fucking playing? The band started to play the scene. Yes. And then when there was a betrayal and they started, and then he's like, all of my nobles. And then the nobles are like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like, two Brutus. And we went, our eyes literally rolled from the backs of our heads out of our ears. 
Because it was so what? fucking stupid. And during stupid. like all this stuff is going on, they're fighting, <laughs> and the music starts getting more intense, so they start playing even harder. I'm like, can they see what's going on? <laughs> what is I'm happening? more focused in so the back the than the what's going on in the front. <laughs> yeah, the so I'm more that? focused on the back. I love it. See? Is That's that the not only an point. amazing show? That's the only this point why like I would have given another satire. one. I was like, what is going on here? So this flashback, so we get a flashback as she's playing with the hair on his chest. That's she's like, tying it into little I, knots. I, yeah. It's so <laughs> stupid. That's why I had to. It's like, this is so tripe. Anyways, uh, that this, this this scene plays out. Carrie Olds, you know, shows up with his uh, mm-hmm. you know, precious yeah. little princess who can heal stuff across the galaxy. And they are betrayed. And it, they... They conspired with the uh, general really bad uh, fucking uh, beard and hair piece. General bad makeup. I forgot what the fuck It was so awful. Is. And he's like, he's got a Scottish accent. It's just, I don't buy that guy at all. Anyways, everybody turns on him. And it is the, like, most cringy hilarious scene as they all stab the king and and then he's like and then he tells the scar giver tells cora kill the princess like any any of his soldiers could kill her he could kill her but he wants her to go kill her do it now and then then she, oh right before i have to say the king was like what are y'all doing why what is this and then Zach has to just go above and beyond and all these things. And there's a lot of slow-mo scenes of old men going, rah, 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 we hate you. Oh, God. Oh, so, so. I don't know. What Shoot that her. Se- what was that scene it's for, It's so though? overdramatic. It's, it, it, it goes into a realm of absurdity. Yeah. And so she, she does shoot. She the shot. The princess is like... <gasps> She's looking. She's like, she can't do it. The prince is like, I forgive you. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I forgive you. And she goes, and she says, don't forgive me. And then, boom, shoots her and kills her. So deep. But you see the light leave her chest. Yes. I wrote, uh, this is such hogwash. It's actually hard to focus on this tripe. This is (laughs) fucking, the dialogue is fucking pathetic. Slow, sad music as they stab him. The band plays faster. (laughs) Do it! Kill her! Did, is she gonna she, do it? Did, did, she did. shoots the prince. Can I do it? Anyways, uh, the and then the band is playing to the scene. This is so stupid. Yes. And then she walks out of the Something even dawn. stupider happens. She just walks. So out she of her disobeys, dawn. and and they're like, "Get her!" And oh, then, she did, yeah, she kills her, and everyone's like, "Oh, we all witnessed it. She's a traitor." Oh, that was capture the big her. Yeah, they pin on her. Capture Their big her. Plan is that none of us. Oh no! no yeah, the we fucking saw. king killer. And then so she runs. She and- fought her way out. I was like, it looked like you walked. You you walk out. You Why? barely had anyone do anything. Exactly. So then they, she gets away, and I know somebody's gonna type. Well, if they captured her, she would say, "Well, y'all killed them, not me." And so they had to let her go so that she would, so that she wouldn't tell on them or some stupid fucking reason. They could have just shot her. But like, exactly. yeah, we have like a hundred people right now. They saw what the fuck yeah, happened. Yeah, all of these nobles are somewhat respected in the galaxy. You're also so the dreadnought. You can just shoot the ship. Yeah. So then on. she flies off, and the dreadnought doesn't fire at her or nothing i'm like oh this is the dumbest shit i've ever seen and that's how we start this fucking thing and i it, i got punched out in that scene i was like this is a parody but it gets worse we're literally watching like an snl skit if they gave them 200 million dollars but it gets worse go ahead there's so Tell much us. stuff you can buy after $200 this million. oh so much more i want after, another beer after this uh, he tells them, he's like, all right, well, they're coming in five days. We have to do the harvest in three. Mm. So they start doing that. They start doing the montage of the harvest. And then they had a couple more days. So they start digging some trenches, yeah. trying to make a battle plan. And he's like, Titus comes in. He's like, everyone, come here. Let's sit at the table. Tell me about yourselves. Yeah, hold, hold I need on. To Before that, Joe, uh, you know, the dreadnought lets her leave. This is the stupidest backstory I've ever seen. Oh, it, yeah. it, it was a parody. And, <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, and then we go to the scene where we have them all gathering the wheat. And, of course, Zach can't help himself. He's got to do a scene of slow-mo. 
Blowing the weed out of the guy's hands. <laughs> hey, we need that weed, asshole. <laughs> you get yeah. down on the ground, you pick up every little grain. And OJ comes up by him. Hey, stop lollygagging. <laughs> we don't have time for slow motion. We, we got, got three days. We got time for slow motion. We got three days. And then they do yes. this scene where it's so cheesy as fuck. <laughs> they do a song, and the song... Do all the songs have to be the ah? You know, it's so it's, annoying. It's, it's, it's like you know, let's get down to business. Yeah, and, and don't, don't they have this song yeah. ruin it. playing over the harvesting. And what do you call something that it is that is trying to make itself more profound than it clearly is? Melodrama. Ass. Yes. Oh, I was going to say melodrama. <laughs> this is melodrama of the highest order and bad melodrama because some melodrama can be good. Yeah. This is bad melodrama it and it was so forced. And, and we do this for 30 fucking minutes before we get to um, the villain scene where he wakes up. And they're like, oh, he's gonna, he's, he might be brain damaged. He, he might not be as good as he was before. But apparently he wakes up and he has superpowers. Yep. And he shoots Super. the doctor that's like, first you have to perform some tests. And he's like, let me help you. <laughs> Disconnect me from this shit. Unhook him. And that's, yeah. And then, then he realizes he has a scar. And he's like, do you want me to uh, fix that scar for you? We have the technology. We can fix the scar. We just don't know how to make wheat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I want this scar. She gave me the scar. The scar giver. The scar giver. He never says that. But he's like, the scar giver like, gave me this scar. Whoa, Admiral, how did you come up with that amazing name? <laughs> <laughs> and then when I go to the the king, I will, sh I will pop my chest and I will reveal to him my scar. And I will say, I am. <laughs> what? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just stop it. And uh, anyway, she truly is the scar keeper. <laughs> Did you ever find out what happened with the blue-eyed uh, zombies? No, it's driving me crazy. She gave me the scar. Someone tell me. This, I, oh no, I, I think there is a, a, a story behind that. Uh, the robots or something. I don't know. This is gloriously stupid and cringy. Is when I wrote this. You yeah, know, it when, is. When they were like, the scar giver gave me the scar. <laughs> They're spelling it out for the audience. Um, all right. Next, we go to the little boy scene. The little boy tries to put wheat in the, the uh, Korean sword lady's face. And Seen this done multiple times. Way they better. They try to do this fun little thing. Between. Yeah, with the kids messing with Now, them. to me, Joe, this was one of the better parts because, you know, her, her acting with her eyes and words, some actors can do it. Some can't. She mm -hmm. can do it. And I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm pulling it. This is done well. But again, yeah, it's done better in other places. But it doesn't mean we can't just assess this one. So in this particular thing, when everything else is so fucking trite and, and, and fucking over the top and ridiculous and parody and satire, this kind of was all right. It could have worked for me if they had set up her character in any yeah. way. Like, we're supposed to know that she had a family before. Because, you know, they literally, I had a family before and then they died. And now I have ghost gauntlet hands that taught me how to fight. And you're supposed, if we had known that she has this trauma about children, the this scene could have been way better. Chapter. But the problem is, it's just like, they're like, oh, this is a scene that I found somewhere else. Yeah. I'm just going to put it in there. It's yes. like, well, are you going to set up the scene? No. Oh, I don't know how to do no. that. So I'm not going to. No. It's like, okay, great, Zach. Yeah. yeah. And then we go from that scene to immediately slow motion of Titus putting his <laughs> hand and his canteen in into the water. drinking water. In the drinking water. You... But it's ladle. Again, a stupid song plays over. I'm like, oh, what are we doing? Slow are you panning your goddamn movie? Yes. Anyways, and then and then we cut to uh, the Imperium, and the one new character in the film, this commander character, he's like, you know, on on comms with the soldier who was supposed to be getting the wheat, uh, and he's like, well. Did you? Did they get the wheat? Yes, sir. They got the wheat and this and that. Well, maybe mercy is in order. And then, and then our, our yeah, he's, he's like, like well, no. where is everyone else? I've only seen you. He's like, oh, they've been busy uh, making sure the harvest is going well. Yeah. And then, yeah. but no, he goes, they deserve nothing but our foot, sir. Trying to play the good soldier. Mm -hmm. And the villain was waiting in the background. He's like, nope. They're all dead. He has chosen a side. He's chosen a side. <laughs> I already lost count of how many slow mo scenes. If we were drinking for each slow mo scene, we would have had alcohol we, yes. poisoning. We would have been gone. <clears throat> then we get the scene. She speaks. She finally speaks for an extended period of time. The young girl. She stands up and she says, I have gifts for all of you, our defenders. And she goes, 
for you. You Titus, who have done this and man of that and fought in the man. lands of Elalala and then do one of that and then you and then you and And I'm like, how the fuck do you know all the that? The audience doesn't even fucking know. <laughs> They've been here for three days and you've been working 17 hour days. When did you find time you to show everyone all this shit? Like I, I buy it if like they were you. The scenes were showing they were working side by side. But no, she does this for every goddamn one of them. So she had to be like an annoying little gnat in their fucking face during the past three days. So she gives gifts to all of them. What does she give? What are the gifts? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah mountain for mountain. Titus yeah. and uh, uh, Terak. And Terak gets a stag, stag. a beautiful lady. stag with abs, and she is a storm because yes. of because storm. And then to the snarling wolf with teeth to the Korra, Korra that we don't give a shit about. And the sunshine to and sunshine. Millie. Sunshine? I it's didn't know Millie. what Millie it's Vanilli. A, it's the sun, but yeah, because you represent sunshine. It's like she hasn't said a single fucking thing. And I wrote here, someone needs to tell Zach that in order for something to be touching, it needs to be set up properly. Zach probably gets told all the time. No and touching. this was touch. This he he presents this, and the music is presenting it, and all these things are trying to present this as a touching scene, and it's yeah. not touching. It's touching. It's not. The but wrong then part. it gets so fucking. It gets again. It gets worse after that because after that, everyone's having a great time. They're mm -hmm. celebrating, and then Titus is like, Titus "Everyone, shut up and listen to me. I'm gonna start <laughs> singing." <laughs> and I, and I'm like, "What is happening?" And everyone's Why just is... there with their steins. They stop dancing. They, and they start having. Well, they stop well, having no, fun. Well, first, wait. You know, you're right. First, they laugh and they're yes. dancing and they're listening to music and they're having fun. A good time. Like, okay, and then okay, out of nowhere. This is good. All the sound cuts, and he stands up, and everybody's like, looks over at, and then this music. It's so. It's out of place. Melodramatic. Yeah. It's so out of place and melodramatic. But to be fair, uh, and I was <laughs> like, uh, I was like, bro, shut up. And he takes his hat off and he starts singing. But actually, as I was listening to the song, I wrote, okay, only because that dude is awesome. I actually did like his song. Okay. I like the language. I like the, his his. I, I, like, I hey, agree he's with a that. Singer. If it would have been but done in a better scene, a better scene, not mm -hmm. in like everyone's having fun. Hey, I'm going to kill the moment. Yeah. That is, there's a time and Killed place. Everybody's there's a time and place yeah. for that, and that was not it. Yeah. That was not it. Uh, so, Joe, uh, the robot with the antlers, uh, it's still not explained where it, where never it is. from and why he got that <laughs> it never and is. what he's doing. Okay. You just look cool. You just look cool. Uh, today, we begin the prep for defense. So that was one day. Uh, that was the harvest down, day. And uh, that was the party the day. The and then thing. there was one day for defense. And then so then they use the grain so they can't shoot from orbit. And they wholesale stealing straight scenes and preparation steals from 777, Ryan, and Magnificent Seven, mm -hmm. this whole film, basically. <laughs> Then they do the montage. Training montage. And, and then today we learn basic attack and defense. Basic attack and defense. This is day two. And this day is devoted to that. And guess what? All of the villagers are all really good. We don't have time. The girls. They make a point days. of showing that the girls in five days. Are, have perfect aim headshots. And 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 then perfect melee skills, and I'm like all of I'm like all of them, all of the villagers. So now we have goddamn villager special forces going up against normal Imperium soldiers that are poorly trained. So I'm like, oh well, it's over. <laughs> Our heroes have won yeah. uh, because they had one day of training, one day of basic attack and defense <laughs> training. All right, and then the next day uh, was they were going to dig and. Build all the trenches. And it's hilarious because I'm like, okay, they'll make some fucking rudimentary little, you know, three-foot things where they put some sandbags and they're ready to go. No, in a later scene, there's fucking bamboo shoots, fucking Vietnam, and fucking <laughs> lights, and fucking wires. And they're I, farmers. That would have took you they're a farmers. fucking week. A week. And they did that in eight hours they during sunlight. They harvested in three days, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> three days. They grew seeds into harvest over three days. All right. Clearly, they were going to show them we're having a good time. So are we not having a good time? We're having a great time. I wish we had more beer. All bad. right. So then we, and then, and then what happens? Uh, they pull the ship. Tell us, tell us the ship. Uh, they find the ship where she crash lands and they're like, oh, let's see if it works. And it works. And they have that line. <laughs> oh my God, it still works. 
Because, you know, oh, yeah, they put the line in there because I was like, you know, the village has no parts to repair that ship. Oh, my God, it works. Yeah. Everything's it, fine. It's she worth a billion dollars because it's an actual fucking spaceship. And these people yeah. are literally dirt poor. And they just, they're yeah, like they pull some hay out of the exhaust and they turn it on and go, oh, this would have been nice to have. So then here is the scene, Joe. And you, you, you take this one. So after they do that, they go, Titus goes, I want you to know who you're fighting next to. I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. Fucking roll. So then tell it. Okay, Alex. I'm not one. He's like, I'm not one for confessions. And I was telling him, I was like, okay, now sit down because you're good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That is all. (laughs) Say less. But then he confesses. All right. He so talks talking about like how fucking badass he is and how he was a commander and he was like the coolest fucking dude and he saw oppression and he wasn't going to murder a bunch of innocent people and so he was shot down and he was going to sacrifice his life to save his soldiers and like he looked really good. He wanted to like he's like talking himself up like this is some sort of fucking confession. Got flat top and he, too. yeah, he's got the the great flat top. And then all of his dudes are murdered and, and then he's like him. I want you to know you're fighting next to it's like this is who the fuck wrote this? Mm-hmm. And then I, I was there one cool shot when all of his soldiers ha- are tied, their hands and they're on their knees, and then the fuck. But they had the, they had the really cool bags. And, they had the technology bags on their head that the band the had. Band had, yeah, yeah. Had yeah. And then <laughs> then they all died, and then he was very sad, and he cried the entire time. <laughs> and then it cuts cuts back to our village, and then it's supposed to be a sad, it was supposed Joe to be goes, a sad scene though. But I'm like, but the entire time I was like, can he see through those bags? Is what I'm thinking. Because the band could see. Shut up. Shut up. And then the next, and then when he finishes talking, Joe goes, next. <laughs> <laughs> because we knew that they were going to go. Go in order, yeah. So Joe goes, next. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's when Millie Vanilli stands up and she talks and she gives her backstory yeah, and it's fucking you, stupid. The and then everyone gives their sad story flashback one by one right after that. Who taught the sore lady how to fight? And it was her ancestors were very good fighters, but they were cruel. And so she said she would never fight again unless she spills blood, her own blood first. So then she cuts her own hand off because she has to give that sacrifice and or maybe she just wanted a cool robot arm because apparently then the robot arms taught her how to fight because they're possessed by the spirit of her ancestor. <laughs> like yes. Zach, what a, what fucking drugs are you on, man? And then and then she, and then as she's telling that story of robot arms teaching her how to fight, it cuts back to the village. And, and Titus is Titus crying. Titus is crying. It's supposed to be an emotional scene. At this but part. But it's not. It's hilarious. And then, uh, okay. And then Turak <laughs> gets his scene. And their costumes are so stupid. This was yeah, they're, vi- they're Victorian Griffin Riders, but you are not a man if your dad is alive. Like, and what the and it's fuck like, what are is, you talking about? What, yeah, <laughs> Zach's got some weird machismo. Yeah, he, he's got some masculinity problems. He he thought like all this was way more profound than it really it is, was. and all these images were way more. Oh, suicide! My mom's like throwing herself off the balcony. No, but people don't behave like this. It's just ridiculous. But okay, she throws herself off while her army is fighting, and then he gets gets on a transport. He vows to, to never wear again. a shirt again. Yeah, that's basically. He, he doesn't, but and then and then and then they go and you Cora and Joe goes to mm. her again. Alex is Alex. like, please don't have another flashback. Yeah, we, uh... and so we get her backstory again. And hey, though she leaves out, it's supposed. To, this is supposed to set up a profound moment. Spoil yeah. for later. She doesn't tell them that she's the scar giver. Yeah. She she brushes over. Well, that's so stupid because it's who gives a shit. And then they're constantly talking about, oh, the gays are coming. The gays is coming, and the gays is right around the corner. We mustn't f- fight the gays. And I can't. I swear to God, I can't yeah. unhear it. I was like, I'm like, did they say the He's emperor's like, yeah, gays the, are coming to get us? The it's fabulous like, dreadnought is going to show up. And I was like, damn it, I can't wait for the gays, the king's gays. And it's not just any gays. It's the king's gays yeah. show up. And unfortunately, the king gays shows up, and it's not. What I was hoping for. It would have been way better been if it was way cooler. Way cooler. Anyways, so she hides her ship in the waterfall. That's when the robot shows up. You're all going to die. And then he runs off. <laughs> he like Naruto runs out of the cave. And you're like, where the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, this thing is malfunctioning. Yeah. <laughs> the dreadnought shows up. And 
they are going to, they have a plan. Oh, they're clever. They put the wheat there. We can't fire at them. But we're going to capture the women and the children, put our special forces. So you get the guys in black armor and a beard. And there's one special force leader who has a beard. And then later on in the film, we were like, is that the same guy? There's another special forces with the lead. It looks exactly the same. Twins. Can you hire some different looking people? But anyways, uh, then she cuts her fucking hair. <laughs> she cuts her hair. OJ says, so like, she grabs scissors. <laughs> and then OJ's like, if she gives herself a fucking fade, I'm leaving. She can't. And she gives it herself, impossible. and she gives don't herself like the fucking simple Jack haircut with like the oh. perfect V yeah. in the and back. Don't, don't ruin the joke that comes next for that. Okay, so then. But there's no way she can do a fade with scissors. I have fades <clears throat> all no. the time, and that does not happen. Anyways, so Walker tanks. Oh man, I was like, cool. Hey, well, this is a cool design. Moving on, and then pretty, and, and then they launch the attack force, and I'm like, all right, this is cool. It's an impressive attack force size smoke and i'm like god damn they're burning a lot of fuel to get this and uh fine they're desperate they need the food i do like the visuals of the force landing and how shit is dirty and there's lots of smoke it gives it yeah. more realism so i can give that some praise if and you knew that there was a secret entrance to the town that you could just get to the longhouse which is usually at the center of the town do you think you should send the rest of the army there not just four dudes yes yeah and they and they land their army you know super far away but then they and but then they do another army that lands right at the gates with four with him and he walks out with all the soldiers and negotiations commence from to from villain to cora and i somewhat like some of the dialogue here but you know uh, then immediately is ruined when Cora's like, you know, take the wheat and leave from here. And she goes, take, uh, she goes, take no more and take no less. And I'm like, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. So what if he's like, you know, actually we only need we seven bundles for you. instead of ten. Yeah, we feel bad. I and she's like, I said, take no less. <laughs> take all ten. It's like, uh, so, but your people are starving. We don't want to take that much. Take no, no less. <laughs> I'm like, this dialogue, I fucking love it, and I hate it at the same time. Um, he asks, and then he's like, if you will come with me, I won't attack the mm -hmm. village. And then we can go to the Imperium. And he's, they're like, don't trust her boyfriend's like, don't trust him, and, or whatever. Uh, and then she trusts him, and he's like, no, don't do it. And then so he grabs her sidearm uh, when she hugs him and goes back. And then he fires at the bell, which uh, starts Raise the, the alarm. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, to be fair, now I'm doing <laughs> it to you, Joe. It was uh, a very visually uh, a rich and explosion-filled Laser firing, dirt kicking battle. Did it yes. make sense though? Yes. No. That and I would then, never ever watch again. Yeah. That you will never ever watch again. Uh, and then they show those tunnels, and I'm like, we they built the, and I looked over at the guys, and they looked over at me, and they go like that, and I go like this. <laughs> they built those tunnels in one day. So we fight. We have these cool missile launchers. One guy shows up, blows a missile into the cockpit. It blows up. And then, you know, and then that shock wave causes ruckus. And then, and then they fight. Some villagers die. And then there's more. And then the general gets up and he's shooting people in the trench and people shooting back. The battle has commenced. Meanwhile, Titus is over here picking his fucking nose Titus, and Turok, motherfucking Terak is picking his fucking picking his butt or something. He's your crunches. They're literally in two fucking houses doing nothing while this battle's going on. And, and Millie then, has a perfect vantage point where she sees the battle. Oh, by the way, Millie off. is not in any of this, not even in the scenes we're about to talk. And then finally, when the troops come up over the bridge, then they one bursts out and then Titus fights, but he waits to burst out until he's right amongst them. And then there are That's so many shots of like on. 12 soldiers on the fucking bridge pointing at Titus while he's doing close combat. And you see them in the background and none of them decide to fire at He's him. like, he, like seriously, he runs up to someone and like does he throws them over his shoulder and there's 30 dudes in front of him that all can shoot him. And yeah. then this so idiot with the, the two axes is running around and he's like, 
poor, like there's a scene where he's supposed to be slitting the throat of some uh, of a guy oh, with his it axe, doesn't even but look it's like but it. it's backwards, and yeah. so it's the wrong side. I and it doesn't, that too, it doesn't something. even make any sense. And then magically later on, he realizes his axe are, are poor weapons. He drops them and picks up a gun and immediately kills seven fucking dudes yeah. way over there. It's like, but then later on, he has the axes he picks again. Them back up again, yeah. Cause... Do you see what we're talking about? And this is all visuals for visual sake. Uh, without any of the intelligence, but when you like, if you were able to combine this visual fidelity and these 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 this thing, and look with actual smart combat, we'd be praising it. We'd be telling you this shit is a ten out of ten, and you need to see this. But because it's completely hollow and empty, it, it takes away from it. You're punched out. At least we were punched out. Y'all might still have been in it. Anyways. The tunnels are all blown up when one poor farmer who's losing and about to die blows everything up. That creates more badass. Like I said, I like the explosions. I like seeing the little troops flying and the shock waves and shit. <clears throat> and they do that. So anyways, uh, back at the vulnerable women and children, we have Sword Lady to defend that. And then another one, we have, I don't know, Millie helping with that one uh, and the... A skinny uh, soldier boy uh, helping with another one. Well, anyway, Sword Lady fights the uh, special forces as they come in, and we get a badass scene with her with her swords, and then mediocre. she's killed. Medio she's, I, I will agree. It's mediocre. She has one of her hands cut <clears throat> off, and she loses connection to her ghost ancestor. That's probably what happened. Uh, but, you know, you don't really s feel or see any of that. What, uh, also, like, what is really great boy, is the connection that was definitely made between that blonde child and this woman. It's very strong. The boy very helps strong. her. It's by, very strong. And she's about to die. She gets stabbed in the guts. And this little kid who definitely has known this woman for a very long time runs up. And in the most Zack Snyder thing possible, this little kid stabs the dude in the dick. <laughs> Just dick stab. <laughs> Yeah. Close, close. And then it's and like <clears throat> that allows her to kill ah. the special forces leader, and then the boy watches her die after she says, "You did good." And you have that scene, and you're like, "I get what you're going for here, but you've seen it in other movies, and there you're trying to do no your version, up. and it doesn't work." Yeah. If there's one emotional thing, if there's one attempt that half worked, it was this one. Because I didn't feel no emotion for no, nobody else. No, it's just like a random guy just showing up. You just see him. He's like, I love you. And he's crying. He's like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Same emotion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Millie d didn't do anything the whole battle and wasn't anywhere. She hasn't fought. Not once. Where the fuck are you, Millie, is what we're saying. Mm -hmm. And then... Eventually, they retreat in mid-combat, <clears throat> or the Imperium retreats. Or we think they retreat, but no, they retreat. The fucking they do, uh, they, they're Admiral they're all gets cheering. in the ship, they're and like, they yeah, fly, we did it. Uh, but just then, they hear, and they look over, and there's the spider tanks that were dropped off further back for some reason, and battalions that were dropped off really far away for some reason. And then they start firing. And instead of strafing everything with the belly guns, multiple belly guns, they fire in one direction and they say, fuck that bell. And they shoot the fuck out of that bell. And then they use a tank to shoot the barn. But now, like, Alex oh, is and like, then, no, wait, 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 wait. And then the two uh, <laughs> the windows open. And then Millie shows up, and we're like, there's Millie. And she's shooting the tank and the soldiers. And then the tank blows up a building that's filled with food. And it's like, I thought the whole point was not to, not to do that. The and then they, and they, shoot they, they, the start, food. they start shooting the food. And getting uh, desperate. <clears throat> but they're, they're, they're clearly winning by a lot because we've seen like 40 village. This village has like 25 <laughs> people in it, but a hundred of them died in this fight. And then at the end when they... A hundred of the 25 died? Yeah. yeah. And, and at, the end, at the end, at the end, like they're all back and it's like, where the <laughs> fuck did you people come from? Who died? Yeah. <laughs> it was one, that one blonde guy who shows up randomly out of nowhere and becomes a character. No, even the guy who vaporized himself with the grenade, he's probably walking around. If we look close enough, <laughs> like if we cared enough, back. he's walking around. He's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Cora uses the, the, the ship that she's crashed in and she puts a smoke grenade on it. I'm like, okay, cool, clever. And they're like, all right, soldier, come in. And But Cora doesn't even bother it's to... It's an old code, but it Doesn't even bother out. to disguise her voice or anything, but I guess they don't recognize her voice. I didn't care. Comes, they whatever, don't I care. care no one. And then they pose as soldiers to be taken to the medical area, but when they get in the elevator, they go, 
fuck. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and then Dollar Store Fur Furiosa has her scene. Um, she's firing, and then a belly gun looks at her instead of blowing her up like it just blew up the other thing with the main gun. It shoots the belly gun at her. But somehow the belly gun's lasers are no longer effective or powerful, and they cannot penetrate wood. Mm -mm. So then she jumps it's down, hardwood. and she goes, Rah! and she jumps into the water. And then later on, we cut to a creek, and I guess she pops up from the creek or something. <laughs> Is that yeah. what happened? And then, she, and then she plants her. She fights more, but not before Cora gets her scene to plant the bomb. So Cora goes into the bomb, and they, the elevator opens, and they have a moment, and they start kissing, and they're like, oh, yeah. And then Joe was like, <laughs> Joe, Joe was like, could you imagine soldiers are on duty? And they're walking down, and they see two, two soldiers kissing. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry. Hey, I sorry, don't sorry, judge. Sorry, guys. No, I, I don't, don't want judge. to interrupt on you guys. You do you. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Because th that haircut is unfortunate. <laughs> and they just walk by because there's nobody in the ship, apparently, <laughs> nowhere. And so they walk and she's planting the bomb. And uh, I forget what happens. I guess people that are shoveling, I don't know, fucking cold. Uh, look what, up. No, uh, one of uh, the soldiers just shows up. Oh, like, what are you doing? Yeah. And shoots him so and then he falls down. down and then they start looking then, up. That's when the cold people are like, what yeah. the hell? So then Cora goes. Slow burn. Ah, 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 stay in line. She goes. <laughs> like jumps down. I don't know why she puts her fist in the air. Because it looks cool it looks in slow cooler. motion. In this trailer shot. She puts her fist she, in the like, air. I guess. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna break the soundboard. <laughs> It was. And she kills three people when she does the bombs, <laughs> and then she rolls and beats them all up. She kicks whatever. a dude into a furnace, which is cool. <laughs> I mean, it's really nice knowing that there are coal-powered interstellar dreadnoughts. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> si kind of silly if you think about it, because you know that you know that Zack Snyder's like, I want, I want her to kick a dude in a furnace. It's like Zack. <laughs> They don't run off and coal. The, and he's like, no, no, this one runs off coal. And then the most hilarious thing, I cried when Joe said this because uh, the, the coal guys are like, oh, my God, we're under attack. So we're under attack. And this guy goes, how many? How many forces? And what? How many men are there? Who is it? And he goes, and Joe goes, it's a woman with a terrible haircut. <laughs> and the guy goes, I know who that is. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> <laughs> it's, a woman with a terrible haircut. it's a woman with a terrible haircut and she's really mad at us <laughs> she's killing everybody doing uh, saturday night fever poses it was, it was bad it was fucking bad uh, hated it somebody take over uh, oh they prepared a fire on the village yeah and then eventually they're like oh she's on our ship which means that now that we have her we actually don't care no about need. the food no need for the and so we'll just blow up the whole village and then we'll get the hell out of here <laughs> um and then the scar giver came to us so uh there's less mouths to feed shoot them we'll kill some of this as well uh we won't need the grain an identical looking special forces guy then goes with the villain into the her. elevator with noble to go stop her and then then we get the trailer shot yeah she, he stops it opens the door she's not there oh she's gonna swing the thing that we've seen yes. in every single and fucking elevator that, scene that hallway she scene. swings with her feet and her feet hits the front guy the front guy hits the two guys behind, which Everyone hit the two guys way. behind, which hit the two guys it's behind. It's foreshadowing for what's coming two guys later, behind, though. Which hit the two guys behind. She literally hits a battalion of soldiers, 22 soldiers, and then she then proceeds to if kill them If anyone would have sidestepped, that would have been great, but whatever. <laughs> but then... No, it's the scene in Men in Tights when all of them are hitting the armor. That happens twice worth, in this movie. It's worth the noise! Yeah. It happens twice in this movie because it happens later too. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll get there. And yeah. then, uh, well, then, they, then they set up this like nonsense scene where she like picks up a sword to kill a dude with it, mm -hmm. and it like zaps her and hurts her hand. I don't know. And then so she like... rips off the dude's pant leg and wraps it around and does the scene where it's really cool that she's tightening the thing. But then everyone yeah. at the end of the movie is just like holding them like it's fucking normal. It was like you could tell that they came. Zach came up with this. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if we show how realistic this world is? And sometimes the, it, it can hurt you. You know, if you don't touch it right. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, but she's trained, so she wouldn't know how to touch it right. But it's like, oh, no, she's very tired and whatever. Okay, so 
Cool, Zach. Cool. <laughs> just like whatever, Zach. I just want to end, end this day. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. go do do it. Zach's lunch. Just wrap it up. <laughs> they stand up. So then I don't want to die, but I must. We'll do it together. And they stand up out of cover. <laughs> and then they get shot. And their multiple bodies go. Boo, 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 boo. And then Terak's like, all this blood starts coming out of Terak, and it's like RoboCop style. And Millie the Vanilla is like, ah, 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 ah. and it turns better. into Mafia, and then she does the day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mafia, that's a, that was a good that's movie. A great movie. And that shit didn't happen. But Ooh, that's what. Ah. She should have happened. No one gets shot. And that would have been more dramatic. We needed more hero deaths in this. The Me magnificent, too. the magnificent seven, the motherfucking uh, <clears throat> uh, seven samurai. There's so few deaths in here. None of this Two. shit is own. And in fact, magnificent seven. Josh Faraday dead. <gasps> Good night. Spoilers. Uh, fine. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, the magnificent seven. Shame on you. All right, I'll, I'll spare you. Go ahead. Uh, then yeah, they, they, none of that stuff happens. But the uh, the guy named Gunnar is is back in the dropship. His only plan was to not he he wasn't supposed to go with her at all. He was supposed to just stay in the dropship and keep the engine running um, because she was going to blow up the ship, and that's how they're going to get out of there. So he's in the back of the 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 ship, and then he hears her coming. She's like, I'm, I'm, I'm I'll be right there. But she gets stopped by Admiral Noble and the the bearded dude that uh, the twin the twin Whatever. and I. And the the boys pointed this out. Yeah, I'm, I'm he's, like, what is he doing? He's creeped. He's he's looking and he, he sees her. He has death rights. Yeah, they, they've made a sandwich of the bad guys, and he's got a pistol, and it's just totally clean shot. Yeah. He could have killed both of them immediately. He's like, they're in. He's in the back of the shot, and I go, no, he's not. That's stupid. That would be that. That would nobody. He Zach wouldn't do that. This is his girlfriend. And he knows that motherfucker's going to kill his girlfriend. And the special forces leader is just going to shoot without asking questions. He would have shot. He would pop, pop. Their guns are not. He's done that so much other times in the fucking field. Pop, pop. And, and, but it doesn't happen here. And so I paused it. And I had to fucking go really up close to the screen. And the motherfucker is literally right there. And their guns and then, are down. And in fact, they, he even makes a point later on. It's like a two or three frame scene where it shows close up of him with the gun. Yeah. You know, and things are rocking. Why are things rocking? Because I guess, like, you know, the, the gun is turning to fire at the, the village yeah. or whatever. The ship is blown and up. And she's, she's about to fire or whatever. And he could pop them both. But they, they talk to Cora. He doesn't do anything. Shoot them! Shoot them! And only after, I don't know, a, a forever amount of time when Noble goes, take her. That's when he decides to That's shoot. That's his cue. <laughs> so he shoots the a special forces guy. Not the superhuman guy? Nope. And then he aims at the superhuman guy, fires at the superhuman guy, the, the uh, Admiral Normal, Noble. He, he dodges it. And that's it. And he gets shot himself. Admiral Normal fi Noble fires back, and it hits him in the fucking... Oh, you know, we're spared <laughs> slow -mo. If only I didn't take 30 minutes to take the shot. <laughs> I did you this to myself. Fuck. You deserve to die. <laughs> A man named Gunner doesn't take the motherfucking no. gun and shoot to save his girlfriend. He sits there and stares at her. She could have been killed at any time during that. Fuck you, Gunner. And I'm glad you're dead. And then anyways. You're the uh, worst Dario. Yeah. And then she takes. Oh, that's why he didn't do it. He couldn't kill, kill a fellow Dario. Oh, shit. You're right. Dario killed Dario. So now we know who the real Dario mm -hmm. is. Uh, the ship falls out of the sky because uh, she blow. I mean, the the the, the engine the coal, blows. She, she blew up their coal engine, mm -hmm. and the ship falls out of the sky. This then then we commence the sword fight as the ship as they're sliding down vertical platforms like we already did in the last movie, but this one is That's more visceral. Stupid. And it, and like she fall, she gets slammed so many times the back of her head hits solid fucking steel so That's why many she cut times. Her hair. I was gonna right. say there's nothing here. Hair away. He starts choking her out. He's like, look at me, look at me and then he gets impaled. The sword goes right through him. He's choking her. Before the the sword hair. goes right through him. Look at me. And then the sword cuts uh cora's uh neck and goes up into her mouth and you see the sword in her mouth and she realizes oh my god i'm dead oh my god my boyfriend's an idiot <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's what should have happened. But no, apparently, I guess he cut straight. He cut up, so it, the sword puts in the space in between. I yeah. guess he was choking her from really far away so that there could be a he sword in between just them. Slice his head. I no. know. No, no, no. It would have been a cooler scene. Uh, stupid. So like, Cora, Cora's boyfriend saves her. Doesn't have action. No. Yes. Does it have spectacle? Yes. Testicles? Say no to everyone. Like no. Does it have action? No. Yes. Does it have spectacle? No. Yes. Does it make sense? No. And does it have visuals? No. Yeah. Not really. All right. So then she gets in the ship. Uh, as the f ship is falling from the sky, she gets in a ship and she flies out. By the way, the whole time other ships are flying out. And it's like, okay, so we're going to have, and then her ship crash lands, and we see that she passes like six more spider tanks. And I'm like, man, what the fuck were these spider tanks doing the whole fucking time? They, 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 they were really walking. bad parking. Sometimes you get bad parking, bro. And, and they never yeah. get to the village battle? No. Okay, so they show, make a point of showing a bunch of other spider tanks, and we're like, yeah, we may have killed the dreadnought, but we're still fucked. The good news is these spider tanks are walking in formation, and yeah. there's like eight of them in a row. Wait, wait, wait. No, not yet. I'll give you that one. Millie screams like an idiot, and, and Tarok screams like an idiot. And they're, yeah, we all did it. Uh. And, uh, and then, in fact, as she's holding her love, she's like, look. And this dialogue, she's like, look, it's the entire rebel fleet. So at that moment, the rebel fleet shows up and it's the fucking stupid looking sister character. She looks so out of place in this big fighter. She's tiny. And then some other guys, oh, his name noob shows up in the film, I guess. And then they start firing. And then she goes, look, it's the entire rebel fleet. It's really over. Uh, these are actual lines, and then but then Gunner is already dead, and she you goes, can tell he's dead. His tongue's out of his mouth, and he went. <laughs> yes. And she goes, That's "No the only way, no! I love you, I love you." The scene Arf. in Tropic Thunder had more emotion where he had his hands blown hands up. Hands blown up, yeah. <laughs> All right, now now go. Uh, and so these spider tanks have been walking in a in a straight line, perfectly lined up. And so when one of the rebel fighters gets shot, it purposely crashes into one spider tank, and then that, and spider, then that tank spider tank knocks over the other spider, spider tank, which is and over. Then it into a transport, and in, that, uh, no, a transport that was about to lift off, and then that transport into another dominoes one. into another transport, which then dominoes into another transport. Joe, Zach so that one transport, that one fighter. Uh, the, uh, that A-wing goes ah! Can I go back in out of all the times where I was like Hey Zack Snyder's got an eye for action and just completely Take all that. of that shit back Had. because Had. Anyone who makes that scene after Having the her jump out of an, an elevator And knock over like 10 dudes in a row and take Themselves seriously <laughs> should not be involved In action. He's just I guess quit shorthand And then I guess what from the sky All the rest of the battalions and spider Tanks are taken out by the rebels And I couldn't help but saying where the fuck was the resistance this whole fucking time? It took five days to get You literally could have showed up and the fucking village is dead. And then you would have got obliterated from the sky because the dreadnought would have blown you to pieces. They're waiting behind the mountain. It's like, okay, they brought it down. Now let's go. <laughs> if, they, if they didn't bring it down, it's like, let's get the fuck out of here. Right. I think that's... No, logistically, that would be the only way. They have to launch from somewhere. So yeah. they were hiding the whole time. They said, okay, now they did. Oh, let's shit, they actually took that thing act, down. Let's act that like the heroes. Easy word, is it? <laughs> hey, we're here again. Oh, man, we, we flew from uh, uh, Agalemnon seven sectors away. <laughs> Anyways, uh, 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 and then we have honor them scene. And this is when they have that quiet moment. And honor then, who? Do you remember that guy <laughs> that the got the banner? That died. What's, what's his name? Yeah, the blonde guy? No, no, no. Oh, the the guy, guy that got the banner. Oh, we forgot to tell you that the boyfriend, the first initial boyfriend, the, the, the convenience fuck died because he was he the bearded black bearded uh was fighting guy noble. was fighting noble and he got kicked out of the alex is like oh no oh, that, no, guy. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> i don't really know his name that guy we no don't. We don't. <laughs> well he died i guess and then yeah and then it uh, was very sad samurai, anyways and he goes, when we lady. next bring in the harvest and joe just bursts out <laughs> laughing but all this sad music and pathetically bad dialogue it's hard to take serious, yes. uh, and because the only reason he's dead is because he's stupid as fuck. Yes. Yeah. Gunner, the only reason why Gunner is dead is because he's stupid as fuck. Yes. 
then she's like, we're going to honor him. We're going to remember our names. And then uh, Cora goes, don't you remember my name? And they're like, no, we, we said we're only going to remember the fallen people, you stupid asshole. You are not a fallen person, <laughs> so we wouldn't fuck? be using your name anyway. You conceited bitch. You conceited bitch. bitch. To wrong so, you. <laughs> but then she's like, no, don't remember my name because I've been telling you a lie the whole time. Zach. Zach, shut up. Yeah. And it's it's Cora talking, but it's literally Zach. Yeah. Just, Zach, shut up. And it's a good, I, I, I'm a bad person because I'm, I'm the one that was the scar giver. And then Titus is like, yeah, I know. And he's like. She tells Titus about what she did, that she killed the princess. And he like, goes, no, you didn't kill the princess. The princess is, isn't is dead. Did you think it would be that easy is what he says. And yes. it's like, what? yeah, you shot a little girl a who chose to kill a child? <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, Titus. And, and then for half a second. I was like, oh, that's clever, Zach. You're just copying from somebody else. And it's like the idea of the princess lives on. And th- and that's why some people choose to now fight. The oh, the Imperium. resistance lives on. Yeah, it's from but, the South Park movie. But, but no, he he's like, and then another guy's like, wait, what? The princess is alive? And he's like, yeah. The robot shows up and says, wait, the princess is alive? So they all go, I will help you find and fight the princess. Because the, 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 the audio was kind of fucked up. <laughs> the it audio, it yes. sounded like you were saying, I'm going to fight the princess. <laughs> so and, I, gonna... and we will fight. Yeah. I will fight the princess and we will and fight. But, yeah. I will find another the princess stupid... and fight. So yeah, all of the people are like, I will help you find him. I will help you find him. And then the robot shows up and he's like, I guess I kind of have to because my programming says I'm required he to. He says the that. The princess is still alive. But Torok is like. How do you know the princess is still alive? Go ahead. Because Torok is like, everyone's saying like, I will help you. Torok goes, we will all help you. Then the next person goes, I will help you. And Torok's like, I, I, I just said all of us will help you. I what included are you, you asshole. <laughs> what are you doing? It's just like stupid moments like that. <laughs> He's like, we will all help you. Okay, it's like end George it. Lucas end was it. writing this. You know, I it's will like, help you. No, it is only because I am so in love with you. No, I am more in love with you than your love is for me. <laughs> but you're included. I said all of us so we can end this. <laughs> and then somebody it's goes, bad. if you do fight, I'll stand with you, says the, the, the tiny pirate chick. And I go, oh, shut up. Just, just shut up. I fucking hate all of you. Of course you'll join her, join her in the fight. You were hiding the whole yeah, time I until will. she did the work. Then I will join you. Oh, my God. And I as well. I could be of use, says the robot. Find the lost princess. The line of the <laughs> slain king he served. Find her, like, fight her. <laughs> that king did get slain. But I guess, no, there's a king that was slain e- even further back. Not that king. That was a different slain king. But, okay. That's the lore. It's not good I to be king. I actually know the, so, the lore. It's not good to be king. The king got slain a long time. Then that they went into your space or something. makes brain worse, though. You yeah. should look up something <laughs> like that. Dump that. Dump that lore. Get it out of they there. They will li- They will take the fight to the Imperium now. And the final line is. I will find her. It was Korra. And she goes, I will fight her and fight. It, now, to be fair, she, the line is, I will find her and fight. <laughs> Even that line is actually kind of broken. I'm going to fight her. I'm going to find her and then fight. <laughs> I killed you once, bitch. I'm going to finish the job. <laughs> but it sounds like I'm going to fight her and then fight. And I hope. I hope there's another I one. I hope when they, they do fight, the orchestra is there. Yeah. <laughs> I hope there's another one. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I hope there's. Don't. <laughs> So, I hope there's five more guys. Have you seen this? I'm more. sorry. Well, so the problem that I I'm have sorry. with stuff like this is like there's a <laughs> finite amount of resources that like artists are getting, and the more money we're giving to fucking <laughs> idiots like Zack Snyder, like we're missing out on potential good stuff. Yeah. Because next time I'll bring three beers. All right, guys. Anything else? No. We covered yeah, everything. We covered everything. I'm definitely breaking it into two videos. Uh, I hope everybody watches this video. Watch, watch this, this video. video. Nah, not not the other one. Usually the spoilers give you less because it's like, oh, I don't want to watch it yet. And then they forget to go yeah, and watch it. But this was the one. Watch. This was the one. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you had a good time listening to bad, our bad. hilarious thing. And, um, yeah, uh, tell us what you think down below tell us how wrong we are and uh and this is a, the, movie. the most epic thing the most epic thing the greatest sci-fi that's ever yeah, come, don't, don't this listen year. to the, the haters or the critics so calm. yeah the, critics are idiots they don't know what they're talking haters. about they're we're haters, haters and critics we don't know the first thing about Apparently. movies yeah. thank you guys so much and we will see you on the next angry joe show bye everyone <laughs>